Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm Otis Kingsman and the question we're focusing on in this week's episode is from listener Daniel. How do they stop the mirror on the Hubble telescope from getting dirty? A fascinating question, Daniel. The Hubble telescope has been orbiting 550 kilometers above the Earth for almost 31 years now. It's a wonder how it would be maintained and cleaned at that altitude. Fortunately, Sarah Kendrew from the European Space Agency is here to shed some light on your question. So the short answer is we don't have to clean it. Despite what we hear about dust and debris in space, Space is actually extremely empty and clean in terms of particles sticking to the surface of the mirror. Outside of the Earth's atmosphere, there's also no moisture and no molecules that can cause corrosion or degradation of the mirror. A risk Hubble does face is impacts from micrometeorites. These are tiny specks, smaller than sand grains, that have typically been chipped off or eroded off from asteroids in the solar system, or sometimes also materials from launched rockets and other broken satellites. Those types of impacts do happen quite regularly and they can cause some weathering and damage over time. While these grains are small, the lack of air resistance in space causes these micrometeors to travel very fast before colliding with the telescope. Fortunately, there are a few integrated features to help avoid impacts with the mirror. The design of the Hubble telescope includes a kind of tube-like structure to protect the mirror and other optics. So these micrometeorites typically collide with the tube or you know, the outer material. The damage is mainly seen on solar panels and on the outer covering materials. This space debris has caused five separate missions between 1993 and 2009 to replace parts of the telescope. Thankfully, these broken pieces haven't been simply discarded. So from the parts that were returned to Earth after servicing missions of Hubble, scientists were actually able to study how many of these impacts had occurred and what kind of materials the meteorites were made of. And that's helped us like really understand the low Earth orbit environment, understand better what kinds of particles are out there and how much risk they pose to satellites and in turn design our spacecraft and our satellites to be better protected against uh, those impacts. So Daniel, the Hubble telescope is prevented from getting dirty by the natural lack of particles in space to stick to the surface, alongside the careful construction of the outer shell to protect it. Thanks to this, we can still get fantastic pictures of our galaxy 31 years after its first launch, without needing to clean the mirror. Next week, we'll be answering this question from listener Christoph. Why don't plants freeze to death during winter? If you at home have a question, submit it to our forum, nakedscientist.com forward slash forum, or email us at chris at nakedscientists.com. I'm Otis Kingsman. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.